Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about making your own framework, we're actually going to be starting this and you guys are going to see this 100% raw, these are not going to be edited and you will see how I, uh, how I work them. So, as we talked about in our Discord, which we can go to right over here, we have this, uh, and everything will come in here probably earlier than the videos come out, but uh, this is what it's called, it's called main power, so uh, we're going to start with the base today. And these videos are going to be relatively uh, sort of short, around 20 minutes long for each one, depending on what we're doing. Uh, right now, we're going to add a folder in here, and this is going to be called core, which will have our core uh, files in here. So we're going to have cl underscore core uh, dot lua, and we will have uh, sv underscore core dot lua. And this is... Uh, basically going to be able to get our objects as well as when we are starting something. Um, so we're going to have functions here, uh, which is going to be starting. So uh, we're going to do function uh, mp dot base dot start. And this is going to be a self function. So we're going to grab self. And then in here, we're going to do citizen dot create red. And function boom boom and we're gonna put the end right here as well as the end right here just so it's all closed and uh, we're not going to be actually starting this and we're gonna actually copy this over to this client let's do client first we're just gonna save this real quick and in here we're gonna do a while true do if net whoops if network is session started Then we trigger event and we're going to have to call it event here. And we're going to also trigger a server event and we'll figure out what we want to call that earlier. And then we break, um, end and end. So in here, uh, let's give the event some names here and let's just name it MP dash base start and this is what's going to start it and we're going to do the same thing for uh, server side except we're going to put in before this uh, server so it's server start and that is going to be your first function in core remember this is going to be uploaded on github so you guys don't really have to copy and paste this uh, and what we're actually going to do we're just going to call this function right at uh, right after here so this function is going to get started as soon as uh, people load in basically and we're gonna register a net event now uh, oops. Net event And in here if you register a net event you got to add an event handler And they're gonna have the same name, but you're gonna have a function in here and We're gonna go like this we're gonna just double double type this and let's see mp dash base uh, I, I usually put the colons for this, uh, and we'll do client, uh, get object. And in this bottom one, we're going to have a comma and then a function of what we're getting back and we want a callback. So this is going to be a callback. We're going to grab and we're going to end this and call back. And what are we going to call back? We're going to call back MP because that is what we're going to do. And we're also going to add a uh, print here. Uh, uh, just like that, just so we could uh, make sure we called this back and we got that uh, successfully. So now we'll work a little bit on the server side of this and it's a little bit different we actually uh, didn't need this function because uh, since we're starting it on client side that means when people are logged in they are going to uh, going to basically get the server side as well which we're gonna have to have an event called this so let's do that right now so we're gonna register not a net event but a server event and we're going to call that uh, all that thing we put in our client side. And we got to add an event handler here. 
So we're going to put that in there as well and get a function and do, 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 end. So inside of here, we're going to want to do local civ, uh, which is basically just source. We're just grabbing source there and then we will do citizen dot create thread and we will put a function through this. Uh, and we could end this right now. So in here, we're going to want to do local identifier. Oh my God. Equals get player identifiers. Yeah, did I spell that right? So let me just copy and paste from the <clears throat> Sorry, I'm made up. So what this is actually doing, so what this is doing is it's going to get the steam ID. So we'll add this so that we have uh, basically what I'm going to comment a lot of stuff. So this gets steam and then whatever the numbers are behind here. That's what this gets. Uh, which is your local, which is going to be your identifier for your player. And then if not, oops, if not identifier, uh, then uh, we're going to have a drop player function. Uh, so this drop player is, is going to be civ. And then what's the reason going to be? Uh, identifier not located. And this would be end, oops, end and return and let's do this lose player if not found so that's going to be your first and same thing over here uh how we had a get object we can basically just copy and paste this it's going to be a little different we're going to change client to server though and, doo -doo -doo, and we could just do the same exact thing uh callback and then it calls back uh, mp so same exact thing except server side. And do, do, do. let's see what else we could do. We could do some commands, but I don't really like putting these in source. I, I don't see an issue with it though. Um, how about, you know what, screw it. We could add the commands as well. So our commands are gonna be done through the server uh, in core. So we're gonna add event handlers because they're not gonna be directly put in here. And we're gonna have two of these. So one's gonna be for a uh, group and one's gonna be for overall. So overall, uh, let me just comment down here, commands uh, and do, do, do. And here we're gonna have mp dash base add and, and in here, we're going to have the function of command uh, call back. Yes, yes, yes. Suggestion. Uh, and then we're going to have, what else? Is it arg? Yes, args. Arg. We could just end this right here as well. It just gives us a little room to you know, move on from that, basically. Don't zoom out. So in here, uh, we're basically just going to be calling a function. So it's going to be mp dash functions and dot. We're going to use dot add command. So obviously these haven't been built yet, but what this is basically going to do is it's going to you can call this to build a command. So you just add this event uh, and you're going to be calling this event and it will just put in uh, the command and just build it for you. Um, same thing is going to be for, for this, but this is going to be a group command. So MP base, oops, MP base, add group command and function put all these in and and it's gonna be the same thing in here basically copy this I'm gonna actually copy all of these now which is just what we're gonna be passing through and this is gonna be group so we're adding two functions here so 
we have group commands and regular commands. So we'll call this to make a regular command. And we probably want to call a server callback, which is going to be one of the last things. So callback server. Um, this one's relatively easy. We'll just register a server event and we will call it mp space server uh, trigger server callback. Long ass type. Very long, but uh, I'd rather have it descriptive than uh, than not, to be honest. So, uh, same thing with here. Uh, whoops. You can just paste this in here. Uh, obviously, you're gonna have comma and then a function. And in this function, uh, we're gonna have quite a bit here. Uh, well, sort of quite a bit. So in here. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm doing it. Okay. So name. Uh, request. ID, and then we are going to ask for anything else. So three dots, you will uh, basically get anything else that you are grabbing from this can get put through. And in here, we're going to add the end. Oh, I got deleted by accident. There we go. And in here, we're going to do local source. Uh, I'm going to do exclamation. I guess I could do civ again. Local civ. Uh, equals source and then in here we're going to have mp dot functions yes and we're going to do a trigger server callback and in here we're basically going to do uh the same thing so name and stuff like that so name uh request id uh, we're going to give uh civ as well as uh, function dot to dot and that is all in there we're going to end this right in here just like so and inside we are going to trigger a client event trigger client client event and this is going to be similar but mp dash base uh in lowercase these servers real quick so i realized that middle let's just call that and then client and then server call back so this going into the client side and we are going to put in civ which is who it's going to be passed to the request id and do anything else we would grab from that and then we will end with that dot, dot, dot. all right so that's how you would get the client to come back 13 minutes just checking on the time not trying to make it too long because uh let's be real some people won't watch this then um but that's basically it for the course so i guess we might actually end this one early um i guess we could build a manifest so let me show you the manifest so fx and fs.lua and what I do usually is uh, I end up copying the same shit. So what we're going to be using, FX manifest uh, game, and we're going to have a dependency, which is going to be the SQL. Uh, right now, though, we're going to leave that commented completely out. Um, and we're going to have client side. So client underscore scripts. We'll have that like this, and then we will have server underscore script, and just like this. And for this one, we have client or core, my bad, slash uh, cl underscore core dot. And we can put the same thing in for this, but just change this to sv. And we're going to add always a comma, uh, just because that makes it so we keep adding more, which there will be a lot more. But for right now, this is the base of it. So a little core, uh, not really anything you could do. Basically, as soon as you start though, uh, something will get started. Unfortunately, we didn't actually do these events um, in here yet, but we will get to that next video as I don't want to make these too long. Thanks for watching. 
I'm always in the Discord if you guys have questions. Many of you guys have known that. I will zoom in here a little as well just to show you the code a little bit better. Uh, and we will go from there. So, it's very simple. Uh, if you want me to slow down, just leave a comment. I know I was talking pretty quick. Uh, the base file is going to have multiple videos. I'm guessing the base is, the base is what's going to take the longest. Uh, this includes uh, character creation. Uh, not really clothing menu or anything, just creating the character uh, and all of that. So these are going to be quite a long couple of videos until we get that base done. Once the base is 100% done, that's when the GitHub will go fully public. But other than that, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Leave a like.